So the border will expand uh, one turn. Yeah, well, next turn we're gonna acquire another horse. Not that we need that many horses. Uh, build a farm. And you two are gonna build a farm here, yeah. Oh, they gave me a, an extra Gatling gun. Why, thank you very much. I'm gonna go for a barrage and this. Send him over next to Morocco. Morocco's gonna be pissed off at me at some point. They're gonna tell me, it looks like you have a lot of troops next to my border or something like that. But who cares? We're doing fine, yeah. Atibirj, what do we want to build here? A bank would be nice. Extra gold from this city? Yeah. Yeah, let's build a bank. Or, forget the bank. Let's build an archaeologist. Ooh, there we go. Because I, I really want to look for all these artifacts. I want to fill up my artifact arsenal as soon as I can. There are no artifacts here anyway. There are no antiquity sites. Uh, we're going to continue to exploit this continent, I suppose, yeah. Our next is going to be right on this one. Yeah, we're going to send an archaeologist over this next to Brussels. We might gain an artifact from Brussels, I think. Alright, so we gained another one. Oh, this guy, okay. We can grab the Assyrian artifact, but I would rather have a Grand Nightmark instead. For culture, excellent. And our worker is going to go there immediately. And yeah, because of this, check it out. We're going to, in the next six, ter six turns, we will gain either the iron or the gold. And these are the ex exactly the ones I want. So this, uh, this actually was very useful. We have another one. A Germanic artifact. Why, yes, thank you very much. So at this point, I think we can fill up the, uh, we can fill up the, what's this, the louver? Yeah, the louver. What are we going to do there? We can have a beads here, and we have a, all right, so this one is ancient Germanic. This one is medieval Riga. What we need is uh, two more of, uh, oh yeah, we have two more Tartasos thingies. Uh, all right, so we need two more works of, uh, great works of, Painting or something, yeah, great works of whatever this is. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. How many great artists do we have anyway? I think I think Onoba should be doing more great artists. All right, so we're gonna gain a great artist in the next two turns. All right, that's excellent. A great artist in the next two turns, and uh, I would like to have another one. I guess is the only there was a way for me to buy. Oh yeah, it's because you could buy great artists if you. Uh, well, that was the. Yeah, if you acquire all of the aesthetics policies, you can buy great artists, great musicians, and great writers as much as you want, with faith. If you, every time you have one thousand faith, you can buy one of these. The the cost the cost will actually increase later on. So if every if you if you buy uh, one thousand if you buy the first great writer with one thousand uh, faith, if you want to buy another one after that, you're gonna have to pay one thousand five hundred, and it will then increase to two thousand five hundred, and so on. And the thing is, we don't have a lot of faith. I mean, our faith is just mediocre. It's not that good. It's only 29. I'm pretty sure Morocco and Syria have more faith than me. So they can actually exploit that power a little bit better. I'm kind of surprised that... Uh, I think Marrakesh is the city where the... Uh, yeah, this is the city where the Wonder Petra was built. So, uh, but for some reason, yeah, you can see there, this desert has one extra food and one extra production from that, yeah. That's because of the Petra that was built in Marrakesh. But I would expect them to have more of these Kaspas, because if you mix Kaspa with the, the Petra, you can have really powerful tiles all over the desert. But it does look like the AI wants to focus on that, which makes the AI kind of stupid for that. Alright, so you're going to build the pasture here. And you're going to stay here. The hospital, the public school, the police station. Uh, there's a lot of good choices, actually. The public school is a solid choice, but we don't have enough. I mean, our gold income is not that good at this point. We do have a lot of gold, but it's not that good as income. Uh, man, it's such a hard choice. I don't know what to do. Screw it. Let's build an archaeologist, yeah. We're going to try, try to grab as many of these uh, archaeology sites as possible. Just rush for them.
The more happiness we have, I think, the more culture we gain. Yeah, because of that policy we adopted earlier. This one. Fine arts. Is that a guillotine? I'm not sure. I think the, this is a guillotine. Yeah, if you see that symbol of the fine arts, that looks like a guillotine, man. The guillotine, by the way, for those of you watching, is the that thing they use to execute people. It will chop people's heads off. So uh, it sounds like a... Maybe it could be a subject for a the fine arts, I suppose. Yeah, for fine arts. But this symbol is probably better off in the uh, honor honor region. Yeah, if you're chopping people's heads off, yeah, it's an honor thing. Yeah, but who knows, man. I don't really understand the fine arts anyway. Alright, so we have a bunch of oil now, yeah. We could start selling oil, I suppose, thanks to this one. Yes, great artist. Good. Uh, Alright, so this worker is not occupied. We can send him over to improve that marsh, which is useless. Boom. Jan or Jan? I think that's Jan. Jan Vermeer. Girl with a pearl earring. Man, that's a huge pearl. Doesn't look like an original pearl. Doesn't look like a natural pearl. Um, so what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I wanted to go to the tourism region. My culture. Okay, so we now have this industrial thing. We're going to shove that in there. Uh, I think we need one more. What we can do is uh, we can exchange one of these yeah, so we have medieval, ancient, industrial, industrial. So what we're going to do is we're going to exchange one of these industrial works of art with something that is... Uh... Okay, so this is ancient or medieval and industrial. We're going to have to avoid do anything except these. So we might want to grab the Renaissance, yeah. The Renaissance from Scythia, we're going to take that. Or forget it, actually. We're going to take that from Mongolia, I think. There's an industrial from the Germanic tribes. There's one from the Numidia. I'm going for Mongolia this time. Let's go for Mongolia. Uh, because Mongolia will never have, will never be able to achieve any cultural, any significant cultural advancement. So it's actually safe to exchange with them. Uh, creation of Adam, that's a good painting, actually. I'm going to remove this girl thing, yeah. Swap. And there you go. Plus four tourism right away. Sweet. So how much is our tourism, anyways? Uh, man, they're really catching up so fast. They're building uh, great people like crazy. I mean, look at that. Uh, they're not affected by anyone. We're not affected by anyone. Oh, yeah. So if we're currently at 39. These guys are 28, 30, 26. Wow. They're really catching up so quickly. I'm the most mostly worried about uh, Numidia. I suppose, yeah, because they have 28. They're going to start influencing all the other civilizations. Which is just annoying. Uh, let's see, how much do they have anyway? So they are still exotic with everyone. Yeah, mostly everyone. Especially Medes, you know, the smaller civilizations. Yeah, Medes is a very small one. What about the Incas? I think the Incas are, yeah, they're, they've been destroyed. Actually, they still exist. But I don't think they have any more cities. They have been destroyed by someone. Let's see Tartessos. Okay, so it looks like I'm doing a little bit better. I will be... Yeah, I'm already familiar with Assyria, which is good news. I will be familiar with the Germanic tribes at some point. I think, yeah, once we reach, like, 25% or something, yeah. So I'm actually doing a little bit better. One of my cities wants incense. I don't think I've seen a single point of incense in the game right now. There's no incense anywhere. Probably because there are not many deserts. Yeah, if you need more deserts to want more incense. Where are the incenses? Should be somewhere here. Mm, yeah, so this city is still occupied. This is the Inca city that was captured by the Mongolians, I think. Yeah. It's still occupied. They did not yet build the... Uh, yeah, sure. They did not build the... Uh, what do you call it? Courthouse? Yeah. They did not have a courthouse here yet. I think. Come on, I can't wait for this harbor to be complete. Come on. To improve our happiness, to improve our gold income, it's going to make everything better. Florence are now my friends, I think. Yeah. 
They're giving us extra culture per turn, which is nice. We will gain a new culture policy in 10 turns. Excellent. All right, so let's go grab some extra... Uh, yeah, there's an archaeologist. Morocco is competing with me for two archaeologists? Really? Ouch. All right. They're competing with me for the uh, antiquity sites. I'm actually going to go for this one for this time. And uh, I think there's another archaeologist around here somewhere. We're trying to build another one. Oh, yeah, there's there he is. Uh, you know what? First of all, let's try and build a couple of stuff. I'm going to ignore the hospital once more uh, instead of going for the bank. Yeah. More gold is going to be more useful. How about a zoo? Yes, let's build a zoo. Going to build a bank here as well. Yeah. Going to build a farm here. You. Make your way to this antiquity site. It's going to take 11 turns. I really hope that we make it a little bit faster than Morocco because they look at that, man. They have two archaeologists and they're actually closer to that continent. Oh, that is so unfair. It really depends on where they're exactly they're going. Yes, please declare war on Namibia. But I can't join you, unfortunately. You're going to have to do that all by yourself. I have no interest in the wars between you and Namibia. So yeah, just do things on your own. This city has a fair bit of culture going. There's like four here and two here from this Mount Kilimanjaro. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I feel like... Uh, I think this city should, should be able to buy something from this. I'm not sure. What should we... What could we buy? Lighthouse, the market, the the stable actually is actually a good, good idea because we already have like two horses, so we get like plus two production or something. The circus is a good idea as well, but I'm not gonna buy that. Should probably buy the stable instead because you know the factories and the uh, all right. So we have a great engineer. The factories and the um, the windmills they cut yeah one thousand one thousand fifty. That's too much for me. But the stable is affordable. Yeah, let's build a stable. Uh, we have a great engineer here. We're going to send this guy. I think I want to send him to here. Yeah. Right on top of the tundra. Yeah, let's go for the tundra. We want the city to have a little bit more production. A little bit more dignified. All right, so where do we want to go for this? Um, in Rood. We don't want to give him too much science, so let's just ignore that guy for now. Yes, let's uh, apply more religious pressure on Mabazo Congo, that's a good thing. We could demand tributes from these guys, let's ask for them. Yeah, they have a pledge of protection. Oh, it's unfortunate. I don't want to make trouble with the other people, so... Alright, two turns, we will gain one of these. I hope it's the iron, because the iron is actually more distant. It's actually more far away, which makes it a little bit more expensive to buy. And I'm also, I'm also worried about Assyria trying to build something here to capture this, you know, to acquire the iron. So I'm a little bit anxious. I, I really would look forward to gaining this style. 15 forest has been cleared. Yeah, 15 production has been acquired from clearing the forest over the die. Okay, so we gain more die. We have a lot of dice. One, two, three, four. Yes, we have four dice. It's too bad there is no specific improvement for the dice. It, I think there's a mod for uh, which will allow you to build a textile factory or something. It will give you like uh, extra production or food from uh, the dyes and the silk. Yeah. Which makes sense. They are textiles. We're, we're producing more clothing. I really wish there was something like a textile improvement or something. Uh, or maybe there's a sieve. I think there's a sieve which, which has a unique improvement for textiles. I think, yeah, that's how it goes. Extra production from dyes from uh, and uh, silk and something else. I think there was another luxury which has to do with clothing. Uh, cotton. Yes, cotton. That's it.
All right, so Onoba is building things very fast, clearly. An extra castle, an extra armory. Uh, is someone else building a, an archaeologist? Is there any more archaeology sites that we want to exploit? Well, there's this one here, but it has a barbarian camp nearby. I'm pretty sure I destroyed this, but it, it looks like it came back to life. Yeah. There has to be an archaeology around here somewhere. Oh, this one. All right. So we probably want to exploit this. Yeah, let's go for it. Or we could actually build something useful. How about... Uh... Yeah, let's go for the police station. It will help us build the... Uh, what do we call it? The National Intelligence Agency. Which will increase the power of our own... Our own... Uh... Spies. An extra zoo isn't bad, but uh, let's go for the public school. This is going to be our major scientific city after all. 168. Yikes, that's really good. We're currently making like 480 something, yeah. Okay, so what do I want to build here? Uh, the factories and the windmills are still taking a long time to build. So let's go for the circus. Or the aqueduct. Yeah, let's go for the aqueduct. Next turn we're going to gain an extra tile, so no huge loss. Uh, this worker is complete now, we can move on to this hill. We will gain an extra tile in the next 7 turns, which is quite a long time actually. This city is growing very slowly, which is why I'm actually prioritizing this uh, aqueduct. Because we need that thing. Yeah. Besides, uh, we have five population, but I don't see these population. Oh, okay, so the population is actually working here as specialists for some reason. This doesn't make any sense, actually. They're supposed to be working on the farms. Maybe I should go for a food focus here on or something. But you know what? Forget it. Some extra science, extra workers. Uh, these specialists, they will help us gain more uh, great scientists. Yeah. Although it will take a huge amount of time before we actually get there. Okay, so we gained an extra artifact. That is good to know. Um, this is a Tartesian artifact, actually. Okay. Even though they are nowhere near our lands, it's very far away. Uh, we could improve our riflemen, which I'm not going to do. I'm just going to leave them behind for now. Until we are able to build the... Uh, I don't know, maybe we could build the... Uh, Pentagon at some point? Alright, here he comes. We're gonna gain one tile. Come on. Give me the iron. Or the gold. They're actually both good. But once we're done with the worker here, we'll actually buy this gold and just improve it right away. To increase our happiness. No. We both get the open board. Wait, oh, screw it. Fine. Yes, our first denunciation. Songai has denounced Numidia. Good. I really hope everyone denounces Numidia. Let's see. I think somebody's going to join the uh, bandwagon at some point. There's going to be this huge bandwagon effect where everyone is denouncing this one uh, civilization. Yes, Spain has denounced Numidia. I'm actually going to join this. I'm actually going to denounce Numidia. Because I look forward to uh, maybe perhaps in the next council meeting uh, that they will declare a uh, embargo Numidia. That is good. That would be really good, actually. The only problem is that they have a really powerful military, and uh, getting on their bad side is probably not a good idea. Alright, so we have a city connection, finally. You're gonna stay here. A free worker. We could actually build another farm here. Let's go build another farm. Uh, yeah, I was, what was I going to do? I was going to denounce Numidia, I think. There we go. I just hope that nobody declared friendship with these guys. Do I have a friendship with Spain to begin with? Let's see here. I think we are. We are friendly with them. Yes, we are. All right, so let's denounce Numidia. Is this Numidia? I think these are. Yeah, there you go. This guy. I actually feel sorry for him. He seems like... Yeah, actually, he's not very friendly. He doesn't look very friendly. All right. Just between you and me, your military is kind of the laughing stock of the world. Don't let that, that, let that get you down. I'm sure someone put it. All right. You're clearly a real huge 
you're you're an ass. You're really you're an asshole, man. I, I don't like the way you're talking to me. But before we actually uh, decide to, hey, he actually has everything that I have, uh, which means that we can't really exchange anything with him. All right, uh, we're just gonna denounce you there. I should not forget this. All right. Uh, yes. I really hope everyone else ends up denounces you. Yeah, please. De everyone, denounce Numidia now. He is actually denouncing me. Well, screw that. You will pay for this in time. Your mama will pay for this in time. There we go. Oh, that bastard. He actually built the Broadway. All right. The Inca are now also pissed off with Numidia. That is good. Yes, somebody. Oh, come on, Inca, please denounce them. The poor Incas, they don't have any cities. Excellent. Morocco is also pissed off at them. Excellent. Wow, Ahmed al-Mansur, he's actually quite brave. He has declared war on the uh, Germanic tribes. All right. Yes, Mongolia has also distrusted Numidia. Excellent. I think, uh, yeah, Mo uh, Morocco has just built Saul, which is their newest city. They're desperately trying to maintain control of their religion, but they're having a hard time, obviously, because uh, I mean, like, this entire region is controlled by the by tankerism, and it's their damn fault. They shouldn't have built all these cities close to their cities but without making sure that they have a missionary nearby. Yes, even Medes are pissed off at the Numidians. Excellent. Everyone is denouncing them. Yes, excellent. They probably captured someone's capital or something. I don't know. Maybe they captured a few cities from someone else. So everyone's just pissed off at them, I guess. Yeah. They have their own religion, which their own religion, which is Buddhism. Oh, there we go. There we have our first uh, barbarian ship. Oh, and there's a barbarian capital there. Great. Gonna try to kill that thing. Yes, we have an extra iron. I'm gonna go down and improve that iron. Oh, I'm actually gonna keep that guy here because if we, if uh, oh screw it, they're actually gonna plunder my uh, ink. Uh, damn it, man! Why did this have to happen? They're gonna plunder all of my trade routes. Look at that. They're standing right on top of the trade routes, and this stupid barbarian captain. I'm actually gonna keep a. I'm actually gonna keep a soldier right there just in case. At this point. Ah, oh, damn it, I hate it when this happens. I can't even send this damn thing to Ashkelon. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that thing on standby for now, yeah. And I'm gonna build another uh, privateer just to keep security in this area because security is just our security sucks right now. Uh so what are we gonna build? Ah screw it, let's go for the Coliseum. Just stay there for now. We're gonna get our asses plundered by this stupid caravan, man. Yeah. Your army is on the man. Screw this. Uh, okay, so we've denounced them. They have denounced us. They have chosen order, and we both wonders that they covered it. I think we're actually. Uh, there's a slight risk that they might declare war on us. Uh, I mean, they have this huge army. After all, yes, I'm glad that we are friends. I'm actually going to ignore declaring war on Morocco for them. I'm probably never going to be able to declare war on these guys, so I'm just going to ignore them. But look at this. Their soldiers are ridiculous. Actually, it's uh, Spain that is, has the best soldiers. And I am currently in friendly terms with Spain. <laughs> good, good. Everyone hates Numidia right now, yeah. I wonder what their special power is, their unique ability. It It's probably one of the reasons why they're so powerful. How do they get so powerful anyway? Those lucky bastards, they have copper, whereas I don't. I Man, how come? What? It doesn't make any sense. How come I don't have any copper in my region? Yes, except open borders. Okay, I'm just, I have one silver, really? And you give me dyes? I'm never going to get over that. I'm going to constantly bitch about this. That is unfair. My special nation's power has to do with silver and stuff. They give me like one silver, really? And then salt, which has nothing to do with the uh, smeltery ability. Alright, I think they're about to plunder one of my stuff. Uh, where is that caribou? It's probably gonna go after one of my... Yeah, there it is. 
I'm definitely gonna just try to destroy as soon as I can, yeah. And before I forget, I wanna clear that uh, barbarian encampment, which means we should uh, probably send this musket man over here, yeah. Okay, uh, a museum would be nice. Or a wall, actually, because this city is kind of uh, vulnerable. Let's build a wall. Okay, I think there's a... So this city is supposed to grow a little bit faster at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a food focus. I want the city to grow a little bit faster, yeah. Yes, alright, so this is going to take three turns for them to grow. Excellent. Uh, you can build a farm if you want. Actually, I should have taken him there to build that horse. But yeah, it's fine. Build the pasture over the horses. Uh, okay, I'm not sure why we would need that, because you don't have any cities. Yeah, they don't have any tradable cities. I think they have, like, one city, maybe? I don't know. Uh, sure, I will give you the... Dies. So the Germanic tribes have jumped on the bandwagon as well. They now hate Numidia. Good. They have no reason to hate Numidia, but uh, they just jumped on the bandwagon. The only reason why I, I hate Numidia, quote-unquote, right now at this point, is because they have... Uh, out of jealousy, pretty much. Okay, so it looks like... Uh, uh, Marco Mani is currently under attack by Morocco, I, I think, yeah, the Morocco has sent their troops all over this place. And they're going to attack Germania, uh, the Germanic tribes, yeah. That's what's going to happen here. And they actually tried to convert this city, look at that, they have like 8 Muslims inside and 9 Tengirs, Tengir wrists. Yeah, so, uh, I'm actually going to watch this with, with great interest just to see what's going to happen. I think I send a... Yeah, alright, so my knight is about to arrive. It's gonna explore this area. Look at that, there's a lot of mountains here. Okay, so we're gonna try and capture that. Uh... Oh, we're gonna make it. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to kill them after all. Otherwise, this private here would have captured this caravel. That would have been nice. Oh, so the uh, apparently the archers have died. Or maybe they dropped into the ocean. I'm not sure. Okay, so we're back here. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's go for the uh, public schools thing. Yeah. We're going to build a pasture over the horses, which we can exchange for other stuff. Again, let's go for the villains. We're going to increase our religion in that city. Uh, so what was I gonna do? I was gonna do something here. So they still have this uh, archaeologist. Yeah, I wanted to monitor the situation behind my archaeologist. Uh, this guy is supposed to be going towards this one, I think. Oh yeah, uh, I had this uh, one cargo ship, yes. So now I can send him back to Ashkelon. I think. Ashkelon, I think it's down here. Oh no, this is Eif. Okay, so... Can we send anything to Eif? No, we can't. It's fine. Let's go for Ashkelon. Plus 14 gold right away. Yeah, he's clearly pissed off at everyone. And you can just look at his facial expression. He's clearly pissed off. The vermin are breeding. Your mama will pay for this in time, yeah. Uh, I don't think I want to declare a friendship with this guy because Morocco is currently at war with him. Uh, and I, I, I actually told him before that I wanted to declare a friendship with him. Uh, let's just... You know what? Screw it. Let's work together. Yeah, the Germanic tribes and the Medes are now friends. At some point, everybody's going to get pissed off at Morocco as well for declaring war on uh, the other guys. Yeah. Okay, here's the thing. I'm going to take away your ivory. 
and I'm gonna give you a bunch of horses for it. Yeah, let's take my horses and give me your ivory. But they don't want horses, fine. Take my all then. Good. And I'm gonna use these dice to get something else. Maybe more gold. Ah, Ahmed Marsun has salt. I already have salt. Um, uh, Scythia. So they want they want my dice. Um, uh, all right, fine. Just gonna give you some dice. Whoop, that's not enough for you. Well, if you both have open borders, eh, fine. You're asking for too much. Everyone, wants, everyone wants my dice, but they're not giving me anything in return. You're just, you guys are not giving me enough. That's the problem. I don't need your horses. I don't need your yeah. There you go. At some point in the game, the AI will. Uh, will stop will no longer prioritize horses because you know horses they become absolutely useless they you can't use them for any units uh yeah so uh, only the very oh we actually managed to build the brandenburg gate i did not see that coming what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use this guy to uh i really don't know what we're gonna use him for but uh, i mean yeah like check it out we have like two great generals and we have an extra die we just acquired this extra die how about that okay I would, I would really like to use him to uh, like steal land from someone, but uh, it's just unethical. Why would you do that? <laughs> They're gonna hate you for it for the rest of, for the rest of the game. By the way, I mean we could put him there and try to st just maintain our lands in this area. Yeah, let's send the great general over into this grassland hill, hill there, and try to yeah, and just in case the Assyrians decide to attack me or something. You never know. Yeah, let's send him here. Just grab all these tiles right away. Okay, so um, a frigate. I'm just gonna stay here. And you stay here. Let's yeah, build a police station. Because we want our culture to increase really fast. Uh, how much? Yeah, we three turns we can build a new policy. Good. We can have another policy. The Janissaries are actually a very good unit. Uh, we want to upgrade them to a rifleman. We don't have enough gold for that, so I'm just going to keep them around. Uh, I want to keep like 500 gold just in emergency. Just in case. Oh, I completely forgot. I actually wanted to uh, exchange something. So nobody has coal yet. They don't have coal. Ahmad Mansour has some salts here. All right, so you have. I I I think I denounced the guy. And pr by the way, he already has like uh, dice, so he's probably not gonna. Yeah, he doesn't even want to give me anything anyway. So screw it. But I'm glad that he has no. He doesn't have any uh, coal and stuff. Uh, Germanic tribes, Aetis. Yeah, he, he's a good guy. Let's just give him some stuff. Uh, oh, so we don't have any extra dice. All right. Fine. In the next five turns, we will decide whether we want to embargo the Inca or... A vote for the World's Fair. I think I'm just gonna vote yes for the World's Fair. Uh, yeah, sure. I want to increase my influence over you. That's good. And yeah, I should go for back. Usually my games end at around turn 450 or something. Yeah. Aetis declared war on Genghis Khan. He's, he, he, this guy is totally going to get his butt kicked. You're, you're declaring war on Genghis Khan with the, one of the highest militaries in the game? Really? There is no way you're going to win. There is no way. 
He took away the capital of the Incas. What do you think? He's, he's not kidding around. Although his happiness is probably really low because of this. Uh, he still hasn't built this thing. The uh, uh, courthouse. Keep forgetting. Assyria is actually very silent. It's one of those nations that is not very willing to de to denounce people. But once they do, they're really they're really angry with them. We should have been friends with you a long time ago, but for some reason you're such a stubborn guy. They have now denounced the media. At some point, Assyria is going to declare friendship with me, and I would happily accept. 